Okay, so I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Regarding what happened yesterday, I mean, I've never kidnapped anyone before, and you're definitely not making this easy. But that's all part of the fun. Everyone's always talking about how fun a good challenge is, and now I get to experience it for myself. And we've got all day to work on this. Yeah, looks like we both forgot today is a holiday. I almost got ready for work before I got the notification on my phone. Lucky break, right? A free day for no one to notice you missing at the office, and a day for me to get closer to you. Emotionally closer. I'm gonna stay out of reach until you chill out a bit. Ugh, another reason why it's good I'm off work today. Covering this bruise on my forehead would have been a pain. It's all fine, though. You'll regret it eventually. When you love me, I mean. You'll look back and think, how could I have ever hurt her like that? <laughs> well, if you'd hit me any harder, you might have been looking at a permanent stay here. You can't get out if I'm dead. All the more reason you should be glad I'm here and not risking a car accident on the way to work. Or hell, what if I tripped and fell down the stairs while I was bringing you food? I bet you'd feel awful about that. Hmm. So you'd feel worse about the wasted food. Does that mean you liked it? I know I've only fed you, like, two meals so far, but be honest. Good or not. Ah, now that is some progress. Even a stubborn little pet like you can't deny my skill. And two steps back. You've got to stop flying into rages like that. You know, pet can be seen as romantic. I think you'll come to like it. Or I could call you other things if you think it'd help speed things along. Darling, dear, sweetheart, my love. Any of those sound good? You don't want me to call you anything. Not even your name? Dang, I don't even get name privileges. Well, that suits me fine. Pet it is, then. We can renegotiate names when you're feeling a bit more agreeable, and we can get started on that by you telling me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm not going to be able to learn your preferences if you don't say anything. Your preferences in general, not how you'd prefer to be somewhere else. Let's start with... Uh, your favorite color. Okay, favorite movies? Anything you want to talk about there? Ugh. Any family members I should worry about seeking vengeance? No, I don't know any of that. I told you, I'm not a stalker. Hmm... You don't have any public social media pages. You don't even have a LinkedIn. Hey, I tried. At least tell me something you're a fan of. Okay, not to lift the veil too much, but I did a lot of research on this. There's loads of information out there. Very inconsistent, though but it was pretty clear how to make you more accepting of the situation. Uh, no. Stockholm Syndrome and its effects are greatly exaggerated. I mean, the guy who came up with the term didn't even speak to the woman he diagnosed with it. I'm not gonna get anywhere by treating you poorly, so I need to know what you like. Is there any chance you could forget about that? I mean, we were running tests. That shouldn't have any bearing on our real relationship. Whew. <sighs> Absolutely brutal. But I'm not giving up. It's only been a day, after all. And can you really say this has been all bad? 
okay, sure, you're being held against your will, but hey, free vacation. Workaholic much? If you'd spent a few more years in that office, you'd be leaving early every chance you got. You like to keep busy. Now that's something. Anything else you like to do? Don't stop now. I feel like we were getting somewhere. Ugh, fine. I'll just have to work with that for now. You know, this would be a lot easier for both of us if you could at least try. Yeah, well, your instincts are a pain. Can you just ignore them and try to get along with me? Too late for that. I guess that'll do for now. I'll give you a little break. See you soon. I'm back. Oh, you're sleeping. Hello? You're not just pretending so you can ambush me, right? Huh, they're a heavy sleeper. I guess they must have been up all night trying to get out. So what? It's their own fault they're tired. It's weird to see them so calm. At work, they're either frazzled or wound up. And here... I don't think I've ever seen anyone be that mad at me. But like this... There's something... cute about them. Maybe I never notice because I don't usually see them up close. Or... Maybe I wasn't really looking at them. Oh. <clears throat> good morning, sleepyhead. Have a good nap? Would you believe me if I said you were calling my name in your sleep? <laughs> of course not. I came back because I have something for you. Just some puzzle books. And this. If there's anything in particular you want to play on it, just tell me. I got it for myself, but I barely use it. I'm not much of a gamer. I thought you might be bored with just the TV. And you look like someone who plays games and enjoys puzzles and stuff. Things to keep you busy. I think this is what they call enrichment. No, I don't think you'll fall for me over some gifts. But if it makes you happy, then you're more likely to be happy with me. Hmm. When I was researching things... A lot of the advice said, don't change yourself just to get someone to like you. So I won't. But I can change what I do. <laughs> Not quite. I won't let you out. But I can make your stay more enjoyable. I understand you're going to be difficult for a bit. But I think I can soften you up with this. <laughs> I'm still going to try. It's all part of the challenge. Man, if you saw how it looked out there, you would not want to leave. There is some silent hill shit going on outside my window right now. A representation of my trauma is about to come out of that fog and attack me. Also Pyramid Head for marketing reasons.